this taxation budget measures bill. I call the Honourable Member Paul Goldsmith. I apologise uh, to the previous speaker from the, uh, uh, for the uh, noise from my uh, fence. He, is, he, he might be rather dull, but he is very earnest. Uh, and, uh, and I think... I think we should pay him more respect because he is very earnest, and and I was, and I was uh, I was kind of interested to find out because he, he he was talking about the growth of the human population. I wanted to know what his uh, uh, his solution to that problem was going to be, but we didn't get onto that. We've had a whole, we've had a lot of pot here from the other side about uh, tinkering in this budget. What what they don't seem to understand, Mr. Speaker, is uh, that this government in 2000 uh, in the 2010 budget got the tax settings of this country in good shape. Uh, we did away with the ridiculous gap between the top income tax rate and the trust rate uh, and shifted the weight of the tax from work to spending. And that was the whole point. And so from income tax to GST. And that has helped encourage the uh, significant shift we've had towards saving and the progress that we've made. So this budget and this government is all about uh, consistency. It's about strong, stable government and continuing on a path that we set out uh, after election in 2008 and uh, consolidated in the important budget of 2010 and this this bill this bill is about the maintenance of the tax system it's about plugging uh, occasional loopholes and it's about clearing up anachronistic old taxes that cost more to administer than it do to bring in and I think this bill the taxation budget measures bill should be read a second time and I fully commend it to the house thank you very much I call the Honourable Member Andrew Williams. Thank you, Mr.